Good day everyone and welcome to Admiral Markets webinar, Price Action Trading School. Let's do, before we begin, let's do a quick sound check so I can proceed. So, just confirm that uh, you can hear me and uh, we can proceed. Okay, sound is okay. Thank you guys. So, Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. Admiral Markets UK LTD will take no responsibility for the information accuracy. This is solely my opinion and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. And you can download Admiral Markets Supreme Edition by logging into our trader's room. You can also check web trader at this address and don't forget that Alba Markets is officially best MT4 broker. So today we will cover three interesting subjects. What are fake outs, difference between fake outs and breakouts and how to trade fake outs. We already did a webinar about fake outs but because this is price action trading school we need to cover this again. So I will deal into uh, fake outs again today and we will do it from a slightly different perspective than we did it on a previous uh, uh, webinar concerning fake outs. Simply because we will not use any color candles here. We will use standard template. Of course you can color your, your own candles but the main thing is that uh, this is price action version of a fake out trading. Okay, so it's a little bit different, not much, but just a little bit, so pay close attention. What is a fake out? We usually say that a fake out is when false breakout happens. So when market jumps into one direction, it will touch support and resistance and then it will reverse. It usually happens like that and you are probably caught in a false breakout at least couple of times during your trading career. So there is a candle, there is resistance and uh, suddenly it spikes above. You think that a uh, breakout will continue but it just reverses below the spike out and below the candlestick close. So basically that is the time when you lose the money and that is the time when you should never ever think about revenging your trades guys especially if you are prone to revenging your trades this that will be the time when you should never ever revenge your trades fake out can be avoided but uh, it can be traded too okay that is also important to say it can be avoided but also it can be traded now fake out represents a point in the market where the price moves dramatically up and down and it might start as the new trend is rising. So probably you will see this on your chart and every single whipsaw is a false breakout of this level and you cannot trade every single. There are some filters and those are time filters where you can actually take a fake out trade. Suddenly it will drive the price back down hitting your stop so there is nothing you can do to avoid loss. Fake outs are very very dangerous and especially if you don't know how to deal with it they can easily lead you to uh, a trade loss and if that happens Basically, you need to wait for another opportunity, okay? You need to wait for another opportunity. You should not ever try to position trade when you see fake breakouts or fake outs because uh, position trades during fake outs will also give you only 50-50% of chance that you can succeed and that is gambling, guys. As soon as you uh, remember this, now what I'm saying to you. Gambling traditional gambling is I uh, let's say 30 to 70 uh, odds to casino so in casino favor it's always like more than a half 
in forex if you want to gamble in forex market it's 50 50 okay you still have a good chance to win versus casino right it's 50 50 but the thing is uh, you don't want to go with 50 50 you want to stack the odds in your favor so you don't want to go with 50 50 you want to uh, you to go to trade with at least 60 40 or 70 30 so because of that you don't trade when you're stopped out after a fake out you don't trade guys you need to wait for another opportunity to actually take a breakout trade a fake out trade a lot of times during my trading career I have a counter fake out and back in days during 2010 when I posted on euro dollar forex factory thread I was well known for giving signals free signals for uh, mostly for euro dollar fake out trades that was my specialty back in days but I didn't reveal how I did it and this is guys how I did it now I reveal it to you of course because you are your attendees you are my students and I want to show you how you can actually take those trades some things have changed meanwhile let's say that Frankie fake I was well known to trade Fra Frank or fake or we call it Frankie fake but uh, well some things have changed during last eight years six years and to be honest I, I, I simply I'm not awake during Frankie fake because I, I, I usually make positional trades uh, those are mostly scalp trades so if you want to scalp fake outs you can do it but as you know I'm a big fan and I, I trade my own I'm a big fan it's a pleonasm probably I trade my own Camarilla MACD and uh, of course EQ and do, but but I mostly focused on Camarilla MACD when it comes to positional trades so you you saw probably Orion today we we we, we made good pips 40 pips with Orient and uh, basically that is what I exploit during the day if I want to go with fake out there are time rules rules when we should and should not trade fake out trades and those are the rules that you need to respect if you try to actually fake the rules you will be probably faked out with a trade fake out spikes in a de desired direction then completely reverses so fake out let's say this this is a breakout and then it completely reverses so that is a fake out fake out happens usually during the first three hours of pitch session but guys during first 30 minutes okay this is when it happens it can lead to stop hunting breakouts do stop grabbing so what is a stop grab let's say that that is effectively a stop hunt but it's a stop grab because when price is going down let's say and here we see a cluster of support but the price proceeds to go down as it uh, for example today pound dollar went up so is the same up or down but the principle is same as soon as it breaks in this case support cluster it will collect some stops same for long trades watch pound dollar today huge stop grabbing it collected all the stops towards 52 20 40 sorry 45 20 it went up up and up collecting stops and it hit 45 20 and then it, it it shows a congestion now so the thing is guys uh, you actually can use a stop grab momentum to make profits stop grabbers are those candles that show exceptional momentum after a fake out or breakout of important support resistant cluster fake outs are very common after some strong news you will probably see a lot of movement during today's FOMC 
in two hours. So we might see fake out, break out. I advise you not to trade during FOMC because there will be a whipsaw probably based on initial spike and fake out. I'm sure that there will be some fake outs, but, but don't trade it, guys. This is solely meant to trade during the first three hours of each session, during first 20 minutes, okay? And I will explain how. Fake out usually leads to a loss of profit. But knowing this, you can actually, actually make some profits out of it. What is the difference between a breakout and a fake out? Well, the main difference is a potential pin bar. This is important resistance. Price goes up, and instead of making this candle, Marubozu candle, that is good for momentum and breakouts, the price will probably make this. So we see a pin. Pin is always good, guys. You know that I'm very big fan of pins. What, what does it tell me? It tells, it tells me that there, there are now moment sellers that will win over possible buyers. So pins are now moment sellers in this case, or now moment buyers if you see this. So pin bar is usually the first reflection of a fake out, but not necessarily we will see a pin bar. We want to actually precede it, because when pin bar is formed, the candle already closed. We don't want that. We actually want to precede a fake out by trading with smart money, and that means we actually want to start to trade here, guys, at the formation, the very first formation of this pin. So a candle goes like this, okay? It goes down. We don't want to wait for a pin bar formation. We want to actually precede it. So we take the trade here and drive it down, guys let's say in the case of a short trade okay and those are some things some tricks that I also did back in days to make some good calls and good profits on Forex factory euro dollar thread well I have really a, a very big history with euro dollar before I made my spider's den thread and actually before I I, uh, I was moved to commercial section of Forex Factory spider's den thread gained approximately 3500 views per day and in 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 one in one time there was like 4 million views of the thread and of course, because I do now uh, commercially with Admiral Markets and whatever, I'm on a commercial section, but still I provide traders with any help I can, I can provide with on Spiders Den uh, thread on Forex Factory. And lately Chris can join too, so we are always keen to provide comments and 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 uh, help it's like a mini blog now and also a part where you can make comments communicate for trades ask whatever is not clear and so on so there is just a slight history of fake out and breakout and that is how I did it and how I still do it but just from time to time not very often because I'm focused more on positional trades, but still it's good to know it. Also one difference that I need to mention is momentum U-turn. U-turn is a complete, complete change of the direction. That is a U-turn. And momentum 
during fakeouts is different than momentum during breakouts. Breakouts will do stop grabs, but fakeouts will do stop grabs only on momentum U turn. So if, if this is a fake out, this will be a stop grab before just below this level. If this is a fake out, stop grab will happen here. So we need to know about momentum U turn. Suddenly buying or selling changes in, in, in its direction to actually selling or buying. And that is when traders usually play so-called revenge trades and then there is a time when they lose money. Fake outs are very well known to fake traders into a false breakout and then the consequence is losing the trade, losing the pips and the money. Ilya is saying hi, yes Ilya, this webinar, hi Ilya, and this webinar is recorded and it will be uploaded. Breakout has a possible retest continuation. Fake out guys usually doesn't have it. Fake out momentum is countered because it makes a U-turn. Breakout momentum is not countered. It goes up and up. When to trade it? Okay, we trade it during London Open first three hours but during first 20 minutes what it means guys let's say that london opens at 8 a.m so you trade it during first 20 minutes of 9 a.m 8 a.m 9 a.m and 10 a.m okay if this is london open so you need to actually calculate your own time zone and when London opens up. Same for New York. Let's say that New York opens at 14, it's 2 p.m. So let's call it 2 p.m. During first 20 minutes here, 3 p.m. during first 20 minutes, 4 p.m. during first 20 minutes. So it means 2 to 2.20, 3 to 3.20, 4 to 4.20. And that is when we want to trade fake outs. Okay? Solely that, and that is the final rule. We don't stray away from the rule. This is time filter. And we want to apply it. How we actually trade fake outs with our price action. I will give you a few seconds just to snapshot this chart. Do it and then we will proceed. So here it is. Watch for whole numbers on the chart. There is actually an indicator that shows whole numbers on the chart. If you want the indicator, as always, send me an email and I will send you the indicator. I mean whole numbers like 0, 0 and rounded like 50. So these, these are also important, 0, 0 and 50. Mark today's highs and lows, high and low. S control plus Y, you need to mark quadrant. If you don't know what quadrants are, please go back to the first lesson where I explain already about quadrants. You know that quadrants are important for price action training school, PMT, so mark it down. I do it only on one hour time frame. No straying away. We don't want to do it on 15 minute, 30 minute, 5 or I don't know. One hour time frame is the optimal time frame for trading fake outs. When the market opens, we need to see initial direction, then reversal. 
sorry for typos here. If you are going long, we wait for the first bounce. Again, guys, you know that we trade our session recap trades as the first bounce happens. So we wait for the first bounce. Same here, only the first bounce. So you need to be close to your computer. No pending orders, nothing. You need to be close to your computer. Candles should switch color. On my chart, I use modification of a black color. It's like gray, but let's call it black, from black to white. If you are going short, we wait for the first bounce of the important level and candle color switches from white to black. TP is the next support resistance level or anywhere from 10 to 25 pips. Stop loss is 1 to 5 pips below last low of the high, high, high low. Now, there is a pro tip saying close the trade before one hour candle closes or use a profit stop. That is what I'm saying to you. Because you are trading fake out and fake out is one hour candle. You want either to close your trade before one hour candle closes or if you want, if you see it, if you see, of course, and if you think that the price will proceed, then do a profit stop. If you don't know what a profit stop is, please refer to my webinar about profit stops and how to protect your profits. So now is the time to actually switch on to live chart. Okay, guys, and this is our live chart. Okay, see it here, live chart. Okay, what you should do, let's do it like this, guys. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, remove the lines. I will use my own Camarilla indicator for this. You can use it too. Or if you want, you can use classic pivot points. Let's switch to classic pivot points. Here on this indicator there is classic. You see whole numbers indicator just to mark the whole numbers here. This is it. Now what you do is actually press control Y guys. Press control Y to mark the quadrants. This is this is it. Now what you do is Let's say, just for example, okay, we will use eight platform time, okay, just for example, guys. Uh, but I, do, yeah, I don't think I see a fake out, but I would like that actually to see a fake out. This is probably a good example. This candle here, it's still valid. This one, okay, this one, okay. And now what happened? Just for, now pay attention guys, I cannot uh, go in the history because candles are already closed. So what I'm going to do is actually show you how you can do it here. Okay, how you can do it actually here on live chart. So pay close attention. Mark previous quadrant, only one, one quadrant is needed, high and low. This was high, this was low. So these are important levels. And look guys where actually a fake out happened. This candle was bullish. I will zoom it maximum. This candle was bullish guys because it went up. You see? It was bullish. But if the change of the color, because bullish candles are white on my chart, if the change of the color happened somewhere around here, during first 20 minutes, you should go short, okay? So for, let's say that the change of color happened here, okay, you can go short. Same here, let's say this is also a valid one. Change of color happened here and possibly 15 pips, see? Those are fake outs. 
price goes up, it, it hits resistance, guys, you see? But then it suddenly there is momentum you turn and there is a color change from white to black. The first color change from white to black is actually a signal for you to go short. Is it complicated? Guys, this is price action. Nothing is complicated. Okay, that is what I teach you. To trade simple, smart, and efficient. You don't need stochastics, you don't need MACD, you don't need fancy indicators for this. Just for example, guys, let's use other pair. You see where the price stalled at this high? See how it respects it. Okay, Adrian, let's do a pound dollar, for example. But pound dollar didn't, yeah, maybe it did have a fake out, as, as I remember today. Mm. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Yeah, there was no fake out. Look at this. <laughs> Simply, ah, uh, well, or it was a fake out. Here, guys, we have a fake out here. So mark previous quadrants high, mark previous quadrants low. Look where fake out happened. Look, hit the whole number. Ilya is saying magic number, yeah. Zero, zero, and 50. Banks use it, guys. If you, if you, if you wondered why zero, zeros and uh, 50s are actually strong, it's because banks use it. So this is it, bank traders. Look at this. Look at this, fake out, even previous candle fake out, hitting here, change of color, obviously this was another fake out for a potentially 30 pip move, huh? what do you say, a fake out, so the rules it needs to hit the whole number or resistance, but it then needs to make a U-turn to actually change the direction. So you see pin bars everywhere and we want to actually precede a formation of a pin bar because if we, we, we would be too late if we waited for this candle to close. And very often you will see fake outs, especially during London Open and preceding London Open, as I said, Frankie fake. Okay? Look at this, guys. Probably this change of color started here. So th this is pretty, pretty, pretty much it. Uh, we can find a long fake out trade. Let's see if there was one. But I don't see now. Let's see if there was actually a fake. Uh, I advise you to actually go with major pairs. I'm using this just for showcase purposes, okay, not for, let's see, okay, this could have been, it, it happened late, but just for the webinar, I will use this example. Okay, I need to mark previous quadrant. Here, the low, here. Okay, so this is it. This, for example, if this happened during the first 20 minutes of a London session, during the first three hours, or 
New York session, this would have been a good fake out. Price went down, went down, went down. But it suddenly started to go up, 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 up. And here, there was a color change. Okay? So possibly 8 pip, and if you protected your profit, even 20 pips. But it needs to, as I say, it needs to happen during first 20 minutes. Because there is a time when price is moving. And there is a time where actually a change of momentum happens. For example, if this was a New York session, this would have been a good fake out here. Hitting important 50 level, whole number or rounded number. And look at this, here maybe it started to change, here it started to change actually, here it started to change, here. But you see, next support was hit. So if you see that there is no uh, much time, but price is really, really bearish because it made a bearish pin, you can actually piggyback it to next candle. Piggyback means uh, to actually use previous candle momentum to actually trade this candle. So if this happens, for example, and the candle closes like this, use a piggyback momentum to actually trade it here. So guys, is this clear? I want to make sure that this is clear. If this is clear, we can proceed to questions if any, but I really try to keep it as simple as I can. Ilya, is this clear? You you are a bit late, but I think that uh, you captured the, those moments where I was explaining the system. Yes, only one hour, only one hour. There is no turning from that rule, okay? Very clear. Thank you, Anders. And this is actually one hour, one and only time frame for this. Aha, uh -huh. Al is asking, could you explain who is responsible for these 30 plus pips fake outs in the marketplace? Who is responsible? Well, market movers, investors, big hedge funds, hedge fund traders, bank traders and actually guys let me tell you if there is a trend if suddenly price goes counter trend it usually will use a fake out move to get back in the trend so if smart money decided and if if majority decided that Eurocat should hit this level. Fake out momentum actually will be used for a U-turn, complete U-turn. And market movers do it. Plus stop grabber patterns. Stop grabber will appear like this on a fake out. This is a stop grabber. Look, look. The price went up, a fake out happened, and watch this. 66 pips, guys, straight down. Indeed, Ilya, this is a counter movement or counter trend strategy. Yes, it is. But because it can mess up with our positional trades, that is why I advise you to use it as a scalp or just for 10 to 25 pips and you should be very fast no pending orders no positional trades only thing is you can make piggyback trade using momentum from the previous candle in a current candle indeed but i need to tell you guys Forex is really, really a uh, calm compared to equities. Equities are much faster and uh, 
well it's not it's not that you can use every single of price action principle in equities trading it's a bit different so I really prefer I love equities I, I, I know a lot about it I follow it but I don't trade it I, I trade Forex market so if you wonder can you trade equities indices with this well I didn't test it you can do it on demo and you can tell me how were the, was the result but actually I advise you to go with with uh, Forex market okay I don't see any questions so guys uh, this webinar will be recorded it is sorry is being recorded and it will be uploaded and uh, if you are not sure about it you can always watch it in price section training school YouTube channel Admiral markets we have a lot more to cover with price section training school there are a lot more classes and next class next educational session will be about multiple time frame concept <laughs> Ilya is saying ping bar concept with DAX is disaster well I, I'm, I'm telling you guys equities are different so you cannot trade equities the same as you trade Forex there are some other rules to be respected and usually now believe me or not equity is usually traded on five minute one minute time frame for example for fast money my good friend is a professional equity trader and he is very successful in trading one minute time frame and five minute time frames because guys on one and five minute time frames equities make tons of pips well that is how fast equities is so equities market is so guys uh, stick to forex market and this is meant for forex and for all people who will watch this webinar later probably uh, who haven't attended price action training school price action training school is meant for forex market training because I know that it works and I have tested it and I, I was I've been training it on forex market for other markets I don't know okay but I know what you can do with equities actually my friend showed me that but that's different story now maybe we will do it in the future now focus on this so we learned about fake outs we learned how to trade it practice trading fake outs on demo account and next to come is price action train school multiple time frame concept okay we will use multiple time frame concept in price action trade school and you will actually see how we watch the trend on higher time frames and how we actually zoom into lower time frame to see how we can find some good spots based on historical versus now moment thank you for listening to me I don't see any questions be very careful careful FOMC is due in one hour one hour and 20 minutes so you don't want to take any chances with FOMC because it should be volatile and I guess the price will be moving till next webinar I wish you to trade safe follow the analysis and I will talk to you soon cheers guys